Hey guys, my name is Leila and uh, just to introduce myself for those who are first time on my channel, I'm a huge perfume enthusiast. And just to show you the level of my enthusiasm today, I want to show you my entire collection uh, of fragrances that have, I have never ever counted uh, because I don't know how many bottles I have uh, just because you know I'm afraid that if I do so I will lose my entire enthusiasm. Uh, however, I know that it's definitely more than 200 bottles. I'll not be able to talk uh, about each and every today because, you know, it will take ages. Um, I'll just show you how I store my fragrances, where I store them, and uh, I'll try to explain the logic behind the organization. The very first question, where I store my fragrances? I store my fragrances in the bedroom, uh, in that particular area, which is the walk-in closet area. And I think this is the best place to store my fragrances just because it doesn't have any direct sunlight. Uh, probably you know that sunlight is harmful to the fragrances um, and it's very important. So it's very important to keep your fragrances in a dark place. The second one is the temperature. I try to maintain the same level of temperature and humidity year round, which is approximately 22 to 23 degrees. And uh, my AC shows 22, but this um, sensor shows 23 and the level of humidity is normally more than 40%. It varies from 41 to 43, which is also very important because fragrances do not like spikes of temperature and humidity. And the third and the most interesting part, I think, let's go and I'll show you my entire collection. So as I said, this is quite a dark place, so I'll have to switch on the lights so you can see Ta-da! My entire collection. And I think it's better if I go behind the camera now so I can show you all my treasures. So now I'm behind the camera and we can start. And I want to start with this particular shelf here. Uh, it has all my fruity fragrances. And when I say fruity, I don't mean citrusy. And my fragrances for the beach and for the seaside. And we have here Linari. Uh, Mara Pacifico, we have a fragrance about uh, the mango for me, this is Narcosis Virtus, the Queen's fragrance, my Burberry, um, it's Queen's and Rose, um, this one is from uh, Nishane, this is Zen, and uh, for me this is uh, pretty much about rhubarb and uh, grapefruits, uh, we have here a Canacline Reveal, it's like a sun kissed also skin, uh, it's a good fragrance for seaside. Another for seaside is uh, Kenzo World Power. Um, another seaside fragrance from Bulgari Aqua Divina. I uh, also like to wear this one um, on the beach. This one is uh, Pacroban Olympia. Uh, another fragrance that I use when I go to the seaside in the hotel uh, is from Moschino, Gold Fresh Couture. This one is also very pretty for me, Alharmin um, Amber Gold. Uh, it's uh, uh, pretty much um, the fruity, musky fragrance. Uh, the masterpiece with the one and only from Christian Dior, and this is a Dune, a Toilet, and I love this fragrance a lot. For me, it's uh, about desert, it's about sun, about wood and amber, but I like, like to wear this fragrance when I go to the seaside also. This one is uh, Musk Intense from Patricia Dinkala, it's mostly about pear. And here is another very beachy fragrance uh, from Nina Ricci. Um, also, I use this for uh, for the beach, the Versace Crystal Noir. Uh, another fragrance that I think is very beachy for me. It's, um, I think when I say beachy, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> but anyway, fragrance for the beach, um, uh, for the seaside. This is a uh, Chloe Nomad. Um, uh, this one is the new new version. I was talking about this fragrance uh, on my channel recently. This one is the you know the replacement for the diesel um, fuel for life, um, uh, and I, I love this fragrance a lot. Unfortunately, it was discontinued. Um, I have two flankers of Alien from Mugler, and um, I have this one which you can still buy, and uh, this one that I think also have already been discontinued is something with a sun sun essence or something like that. It's about kiwi. Uh, also very sunny fragrance. Now I have a Queen's fragrance for me, for me, because this is, first of all, Queen's, again, Queen's, Queen's and Rose. And uh, this is Vara from Bernhalligan. It's a beautiful, young, useful fragrance. I have one fragrance about figs, 
and uh, it's not fresh, not sunny, not summery. It's um, a very rare fragrance. I think it was discontinued also. It's from Agonist. It's called Say Yes. It's all about figs and oud. It's very naturalistic, but I don't like it. Um, I have from Amouage a fragrance about black currant. Uh, this one is imitation. I have one from uh, Mugler, which is um, about apple for me, first of all, though it's a uh, EDT of Angel from 2019. One very interesting apple is from Le Artisan Parfumer. Um, it's a, a special line that's called Deliria. It's the fragrance from Bertrand de Chauffeur, and it's really, really interesting apple. Uh, I have this one, also quite rare fragrance from La Little Limpica. It is all about coconut and lime. Another one about black currant from Mansara. This is Pink Prestigium, um, and um, this one is Laurent Nazoni fragrance. Also about, for me personally, it's uh, also about uh, black currant. And I have two fragrances from uh, Dolce & Gabbana. This is the original, the one, and uh, the one essence. Uh, it is also very fruity and apricoty and peachy for me. I have one about the black currant from Negligé. This is the motherland. Very, very uh, joyful type of fragrance. And I think it's pretty much all. Oh, I've got this one from Dior Rose. This is the Queen, of, the the song of Queen, uh, song for for Queen. Sorry, it's um, all about for me personally. It's all about cherry, uh, and it's pretty much uh, very similar to um, Rob Noir from Guylaine. I think that's it. We have finished with this particular shelf, and so let's move to the main part of my collection. Uh, let me tell you about the logic behind the organization. Um, you can see now um, like a couple of months ago I decided to rearrange my fragrances because before I used to store them in um, I, um, I arranged them according to the brand name but I found out that with that um, arrangement I lose and forget about many fragrances so I realized that the best option for me would be to rearrange them uh, according to the family they belong to and um, so I did. And now it's really easy for me to find the fragrance that I want and I like that uh, fits my uh, mood for the day. And here on the top shelf are all the fragrances um, that I categorize as uh, oriental and sweet jammy rose fragrances. You can see here I have um, not only designer brands, but also the Arabic brands. Um, and pretty much the fragrances that I have here fall into category of um, oriental fragrances. And if I have the mood for the oriental ones or sweet jammy fragrances, sweet jammy rose type of fragrances, I uh, go to this shelf. Here uh, is the shelf with my uh, cheaper fragrances and uh, patchouli ones. I think they're quite close that's why I uh, put them together um, because sometimes uh, fragrances that contain uh, patchouli are um, categorized as chiprous um, and uh, that's why I think uh, this particular note um, joins these two categories together. Um, as you may see I have my favorite uh, Prada Amber here, I have my favorite Cartier uh, La Panthère, um, this is a uh, Coco, this is not quite the cheaper type of fragrance, I think it's more um, classical one, but I love it and I decided to put it here. Um, this is also uh, the fragrance from uh, Martin Mikulov, uh, it's a nice one, I like the design of the bottle. Um, it's also a cheaper one, Fruity Cheaper, this one is the original Chloe uh, Nomad. I have a couple of uh, florist fragrances here uh, that fall into category of Chypre. I have this one from um, um, Tom Ford and this is also a Chypre, though it's a patchouli based fragrance, it's white patchouli. A uh, nice one also, I love it. I have Chanel number no. 19 here. I have uh, Ralph Lauren's Safari here. Look, the bottle is gorgeous. I like this fragrance. It's also quite an old school type of fragrance, but really nice. Um, I see it as a Chypre. Uh, that's why I put it here. 
um, I have my favorite, best of the best, the one I'm talking a lot on my channel, is Patricia de Nicolai's Patchouli Intense. I have a new fragrance from Zara, the one that I've spoken about recently. Um, and this is Leather Jardin, nice one, really nice one. I have one of my favorite shippers also from uh, Mugler. Uh, it's uh, Shipper Sim, it's from the uh, boutique line. And here I have all my patchoulis. This one is uh, Oriental Shipper from uh, Amouage. This is Memoir, one of my favorite fragrances from Amouage. This one is a Raw Shipper from um, uh, Lawrence de Villarese. It's like a Raw Patchouli, sorry, it's a Raw Patchouli fragrance. Nice one. Um, here is uh, the favorite from uh, Montel. This is Patchouli Leaves. I have uh, this one which is very similar uh, to Noir de Noir by Tom Ford is from the Woods collection, The Dancing Leaves. I have um, patchouli fragrance for me, it's also uh, very patchouli like my Red Star from um, uh, Mugler and this is Star uh, Angel Passion. But it's very similar to, it's like a normal angel. Um, I have this fragrance, someone would say it's very uh, sweet, but I would say it's not. For me, it's more a patchouli like fragrance, that's why I put it here. This is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, it did perfum. I have one more patchouli, um, the patchouli from um, from Gucci, and this is Gucci Rush, the legendary fragrance. Uh, for me, this is first of all patchouli and peach, that's why it's here. I have here um, the Reminiscence patchouli elixir, I have Bottega Veneta here, the classical one. Um, yeah, I know. I, I said I, I'm not going to tell about each and every fragrance, but it looks like I do. So I have two fragrances from um, Juliet Has a Gun. This is um, Lady Vengeance and Lady Vengeance is Extreme. I have um, Mea Culpa from uh, Quinta Canto. And I have this one uh, from One Cliff and Her Pals. I love this Shipra. Uh, this, one, this one is Moonlight Patchouli and Soul Patchouli from Virtus, also one of my favorites. So here is pretty much all of my patchouli and shipra fragrances and next shelf is about the powdery and clean musky fragrances because uh, I also put them two together, this two type of fragrances because I think they are quite similar and very often the musky fragrances um, can be powdery and vice versa. So um, Let's start from here. This is a, one of the flankers of um, La Little Olympica, this purple apples. Um, it's really nice. Uh, I like this fragrance a lot, much more than the original. This one is from um, um, from Italian designer. This is Francesca um, Bianchi and uh, this is Angel Dust. It's quite a vintage type of uh, powder, so you need to be a big fan of powder to like this fragrance. This is Narciso uh, Poudre. I love this fragrance, one of the best powder, powdery fragrances. Um, this one is from um, Guerlain. This is Mangelan Intense. Um, you see how much I love this fragrance. Uh, it grew in me. At first I was, uh, you know, quite uh, indifferent towards this fragrance and then I realized the beauty of it. Um, here is the Bellissima uh, the, from Blue Marine. This is an intense version. I might nostalgic for fragrance, I would say. And this is a private line of uh, Boucheron. This is Iris de Syracuse. I love this type of Iris powdery fresh. This one is uh, the old formula of L'Instant de Guerlain. Uh, I was looking for the backup bottle, but unfortunately I couldn't find it anymore. Only the new releases, but I wanted the old one. Here is my Sudbury by PDM. This one is the crystal no, it's gold flowers uh, from Montel. I think I didn't yet show this fragrance on my channel. I haven't spoken about it yet. Uh, this is a Lalique, and this is classical Lalique by Lalique. It's like a pear-like fragrance, pear, uh, but for me it's quite powdery. That's why it falls into this category. I have my Mitsuko here. Uh, I put it here, though it belongs probably more to the Shipra family because this is a legendary Shipra, but for me it's quite powdery. And um, unfortunately, I don't like this fragrance. It's not my type of Shipra, and um, 
I just keep it because you know it's a legendary fragrance. This one is uh, from uh, Tiffany. This is Tiffany and Co. Intense version, the very beautiful powdery uh, vanilla fragrance. I have a very heavy vanilla here. Uh, sorry, very heavy powder from uh, Al Harmin. This is Janoon. This is very similar to Lorenzo Valresi Tang de Neige, but it's even stronger, I would say. I have quite a powdery chamomile based fragrance from Truity. This is 1881 and I think it's quite an old <laughs> fragrance. Uh, maybe someone will say it's like a fragrance that smells like a mom. And I would agree it's quite, quite creamy but very comforting type of fragrance. I love it. Um, one of my favorites from um, uh, from Evershed, this is Elixir Bois and Swell. Uh, this is, I don't know how many bottles I bought of this fragrance already, maybe three, four. I have one more uh, backup bottle just because I love it. It's uh, an amazing creation of um, Olivia Crisp, and uh, it's the mixture of iris, like powdery iris, with um, vanilla and patchouli. Love this combination. Um, this one is uh, the flanker of. Um, Angel de Bon by Givenchy, Lange Noir. Uh, it's a nice, uh, also powdery, um, a nice fragrance. Um, I love it. This is Rev de Infini uh, by Lalique, also powdery musky fragrance. Uh, here's the one from um, Negligé also, the Iris Absolute, nice one. Another one also, it's this um, um, Joseph Sons, uh, also it's a fragrance that smells like a baby powder um, to me. Another one from Oscar de la Renta. This one is about uh, lavender and powder. <laughs> Another one from Al Harmin. It's Jeanne Noir. This one is from Elizabeth Arden. This is a white tea, uh, Burberry Body Intense. Here again, another fragrance from uh, Quinto Canto. And I think I haven't shown this fragrance also. It's uh, Corgentil. Also, it's uh, very powdery. It's about camellia flower. I have my Narciso Rodriguez uh, Narciso um, de Tea. This one is empty. I just keep it so I can show you the backup bottles that I have because I want to make a video about the backups that I have. This one is from Bulgari. This is Omnia Crystalline. One of the favorite fragrances of my husband on me. Uh, this is the Musk uh, Floral Musk uh, uh, for her. Sorry, it's not for her. Floral, it's pure musk. Um, also very clean, nice fragrance. This one is a uh, Cocoa, cocoa powder, like it's a powder, a cosmetic powder, but at the same time it's quite chocolate and cocoa-like. This one is uh, lipsticky, very beautiful, sweet um, powder. This one is raspberry powder. To me, this is from Nina Ricci. This one is from uh, Jean Provocateur. It's a uh, fragrance about um, a nice um, powder mixed with musk powder and mixed with a uh, suede note. Like, uh, I like this fragrance a lot. It's very good everyday fragrance. Uh, this one is from Guerlain. This is uh, Insolence, also very nice. I have EDT. I was looking for EDP, but it, unfortunately it was discontinued. I couldn't find it anymore. And the only one I think that left on this shelf is Amouage. And this is Dia, also very beautiful, powdery, a bit old school type of fragrance. So this is pretty much it about my powdery musky uh, fragrances and I'm moving to this shelf which is um, my fresh fragrances. I have all my fresh green uh, summer citrusy fragrances here and um, here is the easier for me it's also very refreshing it's a very light rose mixed with um, uh, mixed with uh, citruses, rose citrusy fragrance. Uh, this is uh, the one from Chopard also, a nice one. It's uh, uh, about uh, bitter oranges. It's uh, Bigoradia. I have this one from Cartier. It's about the lilies. That one is a uh, yellow crystal intense from Versace. I have this one, Masera, uh, the Citrat Boise. I put it on my shelf, not on my husband's one because I'm mostly the user of this fragrance, not my husband. This one is from Kelvin Klein Truth. This is Purple Body Tender. Um, this one is from um, uh, from Roberto Cavalli. And uh, it's also quite citrusy, clean, fresh, but at the same time, it's uh, quite sweet and vanillic. Uh, this one is from Tommy Hilfiger from Kelvin Klein again. I have another fragrance from Cartier here, and this is Cartier Carat. And um, I'm trying to sell this fragrance, but unfortunately, I'm unlucky with uh, selling this one. 
Um, this one is from Dolce & Gabbana. It's uh, Velvet Pure. Also about figs. The fragrance about figs. I love fig figgy fragrances. Um, this one is from uh, Elisa. Uh, this one, The Girl of Now, uh, Forever. This one is Nina Ricci, uh, Bella. Uh, I like this uh, uh, very uh, refreshing fragrance and I like the bottle also with this beautiful green bug. Here are the, the here is a fragrance from Narcissa Rodriguez. This is floral, but very fresh for me because it has a lots of lots of pink pepper and I think some citruses also. Um, this one is from um, Donna Caron, New York. Uh, uh, here I have uh, the uh, my favorite intuition from Estee Lauder, the new bottle. This one is also quite fresh for me. Um, uh, this it's, it's about rose. This one is uh, my favorite about fig. And comparing this to this, like comparing to Lars Zahn Premier Premier Forget to uh, this one to Dolce Gabbana Pure Velvet, I will choose. As I said, this one. I mentioned this is my in my video. I prefer this one. Um, this is Batucado, also from Lars Zahn Premier. Another Lars Zahn Premier fragrance. Uh, and this one is very interesting juniper and grapefruit very refreshing type of fragrance but also very uh, unique um i have cabinet roli uh, from patricia dinkala i have uh, atelier cologne fragrance very refreshing one also from nishane this is wulong chai i have one from um historic Parfums, a beautiful fresh fragrance another one from aqua di parma uh this one is from mancera with lemon mint my lovely again fig fragrance uh, from um, Mugler and um, this is Humanity and this one is from Zara the old fragrance I have here two of my amouages the Bracken and, and the uh, Reflection um, I have uh, one from Balenciaga Flora Botanica I have a very rare fragrance that I haven't seen in uh, anyone's collection but I've bought it uh, because I love it it's not a blind buy I fell in love with this fragrance. It's Hermasa from Aqua de Lange. Uh, it's, I believe it's Italian brand. I don't know. Mm, yes, it's Italian here. Um, a nice one, woody, peppery, um, a bit uh, honey with some vanilla. Amazing fragrance. I love it for summer. Another one from Negligé. And um, this one is also like a fresh one for me from uh, Ajmal. And on the back, the fragrance from. Uh, dear rose on, or rose and rose um, uh, now so also a very refreshing fragrance that smells pretty much like um, like like a Trussardi Donna and this one is from um, Guttal so uh, it's um, very pine like pine and citrus uh, type of fragrance I love it. it's very close to natural it smells really naturalistic um, and here is my empty shelf i have nothing here maybe you can suggest any category of fragrances i can collect to put here um, and here are the fragrances that i'm going to declutter uh, i'm going to get rid of sell or probably uh, give away so um unfortunately i'll have to say goodbye to all these fragrances and here we go to our display shelf this one is the uh, these are the bottles and fragrances that I find quite attractive. That's why I put it on, put them on the display shelf. Some Shalimar uh, fragrances, the Sicily ones, um, Amouage, uh, Kinzo fragrances. Here is a jungle elephant, and here I have uh, flankers of Kinzo flower. This one is Kinzo Amour. I like this one. I like it a lot. The the bottle and also the fragrance itself. Uh, I have uh, this fragrances from Maison Lancôme, um, another one, really beautiful one about the honey. Um, it's a handmade, by the way, handmade bottle, really pretty one from Moresk. Um, this one are two flankers. These are not originals, these, these are the flanker, flankers of uh, Classic by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Here I have my vintage uh, Fabrook 24 from Hermes. It's from 90s. I can call it vintage already, um, and it smells really vintagey, uh, not like the new formula. Uh, I have here 
Merchant of Venice, two fragrances about Rose, Rose Rosa Mosaniga, and another one is about white flowers and powder. Um, I have my oils, uh, perfume oils from um, Al Harmain. Here um, I have my um, Atar collection fragrances. Here are gorgeous green, deep green, like emerald green bottles from um, Marc Jacobs Decadence and also this one from Chopard. It's a beautiful, beautiful color bottle. This is Rose de, uh, de uh, Mil Derby. A uh, beautiful fragrance and the bottle is also so heavy and the leaders are really heavy. So really beautiful uh, packaging. So uh, here I have a couple of fragrances from Moschino. Here are like the animal section. This is the bears and this is the dog from Trussardi. Um, and here is a fragrance from Vince Camuto. And I had this fragrance many, many years ago when I bought it, um, not blindly, I bought it in the store, Vince Camuto store, when, when I was buying my, um, my shoes. They were like cherry color. And to pair it, to pair <laughs> them with, uh, you know, with the fragrance, I've, I've chosen this one. Um, the thing is that at that time, this fragrance was marvelous. It was incredible. I loved it. I loved it. I used almost half of the bottle and I gifted it to my sister. And then I thought that I will buy it again. And when I came back to the store to buy another one, unfortunately, it has been already discontinued somehow. And um, they didn't have it in the store for quite a long time. And after many years, they decided to um, release this fragrance again in new formula. And unfortunately, this new, new formula has nothing to do with the old one. And it's not, it's not good at all, as it usually happens, unfortunately. This one is from Quinta Canto again. Um, this is again Kinzo um, World Power Intense, I think this is how it's called. Not my favorite one, but again, just to, as a display. Um, I like the bottle. Um, it's quite <laughs> um, weird, by, but, but, but somehow it fits, I think, here. And here are my two hidden gems, uh, also nice bottles. And this is one vintage fragrance also. And we have finished with this part. Now we're moving to this one. Here are all my floral fragrances. I categorize this shelf as floral and I always thought that I'm not a big fan of floral fragrances but it looks like I am. I have here fragrances from uh, Bottega Veneta, two of them, two um, the not original and not uh, absolute. I have Lent 3D. It's all about two burrows to me. I have a still louder uh, Pleasure Intense. I have there on the back another flanker of um, uh, Mugler Aliens. Uh, Musque, um, Musque Mysterieux. I have two flankers of Elisa, not flankers, it's two fragrances from Elisa Private Line, the original Alien. I have Intuition as the Louder, Dolce and Gabbana, the Private Line also. I have some uh, Negligé and the intense version of um, Elisa Le Parfum. Here are the Narcissa Rodriguez. Uh, I have one fragrance from Suspiro, um, it's Adagio. Uh, no, it's Capriccio, sorry. And uh, here is the fragrance from Dolce & Gabbana, the one that I like. And the last one, La Fleur Bouquet. Um, here is the shelf uh, of my husband's fragrances. And uh, I would say the 95% of the fragrances that you see here, I would say maybe even 99, <laughs> are the fragrances that I purchased for him. And this is what he actively uses. That's why uh, we have separated to a different, you know, special, um, uh, special shelf for him. And uh, the next shelf is all about um, my vanillas and gourmand sweet, um, delicious type of fragrances. And this one is a Moage Journey fragrance about honey, quite sweet, osmanthus and um, it's like suede, like honey. Uh, this one is a very nutty one, a beautiful Christmassy fragrance uh, from Mugler. Uh, it's, it's Muse uh, de Parfum. This one is from uh, Merchant of Venice again, the very sweet and caramel-like um, um, fragrance. I have the flanker of Le Bebel, the one that I like the most. It's an intense version. 
it's very nutty and uh, creamy so this is the Lavia Bells, <laughs> Lavia Bells dupe from Aqua de Paris, uh, the original one but it's fresher and I like it more than original I have here the uh, the Fergamo fragrance it's Amo from Fergamo and uh, here are is the uh, Givenchy this is Anjou de Mont, the original, the, the Parfum uh, this one from Roberto Cavalli, this one is from uh, Yves Saint Laurent this one, the intense version of Liber, I like it much more than the original one this is Lalique Le Parfum um, very beautiful, pretty vanilla and bay leaf very interesting fragrance, another one another weirdo <laughs> This one is also quite uh, interesting um, and polarizing. The Green Heart, this one, or from Mugler. Another flanker of um, Alien, Alien um, Essence of Salou. Um, this one is from Michelle Annie, one of my favorites when you see how much I use it. Um, this one is from. Um, Unfortunately, um, Maestro, who unfortunately passed away recently, this is uh, Rosendo Matteo, he uh, left us in May um, this year. This is number five, and uh, frankly speaking, I would love to purchase all of his fragrances, all of them, if I had money, because they're quite pricey, but they are gorgeous, unbelievable. Uh, in my wish list, I have number one. Number one is about bergamot and tea. Um, so uh, here is from Ansera also the vanilla, black vanilla fragrance about very cozy, nice black vanilla. Uh, I have here also, for me it's very sweet, it's about coffee, it's intoxicated by Kathleen and it's mostly uh, the fragrance that I use, my husband doesn't use this one. Uh, a couple of fragrances from Atelier Cologne. Um, I have also this one, the Arts Saint Perfumer, the um, Noir Exquisite. I, like, I, lo I love this fragrance, really, really nice and cozy. Um, so here is again a uh, historic performance. Um, this one is Fidelis, about oud, about sweet one. It's uh, oud and coffee. Um, another one from um, Van Cleef and Arpels, Bois uh, Doré. A nice fragrance about almond. I don't like my almond, but here it's gorgeous. It's very cozy and sweet. Really nice fragrance. Um, here I have another Montal, and this is Honeywood. So um, this one is uh, another one that uh, is from the Woods collection, and it smells uh, like uh, Mancera's Roses Musk or something like that. It's called Wild Roses. Uh, but really nice. It's a bit less musky and uh, so quite cozy and jammy. This one is uh, Lolita uh, Limpica and this one is um, the Great Lover. I love this fragrance. Uh, sparkly, um, uh, a bit, um, you know, you know, like a gin, gin and tonic type of vanilla. Um, this is another from Mancera. It's uh, a gold prestigium. It's also nice, like woody, uh, soft vanilla. Wild Candy from Mancera and I guess that's it, this one. Uh, this one is from Reminiscence and it's a very interesting fragrance. Uh, I love it, I use it a lot, it's also very cozy but at the same time sweet and a little bit fresh I would say. So here was my uh, shelf of Sweet and Gourmand ones and here is the shelf of um, the fragrances that we share together with my husband are pretty much all um, uh, unisex fragrances and here I have fragrances about leather, uh, spices and um, uh, incense and oud um, and here is the part of the amber fragrances and uh, um, the fragrance that I think is uh, incredible and amazing, one of the best ambers that exist on the uh, in the market is Towers uh, Air of Morgan uh, Desert. Amazing fragrance. Uh, the sexiest possible vanilla, um, uh, sorry, amber that I know. I have this one from Boy Reddits, um, 1996. I love this fragrance. I used it a lot on the New Year. For the New Year, it's also about very Christmassy. Elixir de Merveille from Hermes. Also Christmassy amber. I have this amber, it's also one of my favorite ones from Elisab. 
nice one very nice amber so i have quite a lot of ambers here so um and here i have uh the empty boxes and some boxes that i'll have to get rid of and here are the fragrances and uh, testers that i have so i think this is pretty much all i wanted to show you today i also have one more shelf on the ground floor it has a couple of fragrances that i use sometimes when i'm in a rush uh, and i don't want to come here on the um, first floor um, and uh, also the fragrances of my husband just a couple of them um, but i would say the majority of the fragrances are here and i have shown them today so tell me what do you think about my collection how do you like it uh, i'll be waiting for your comments if you liked it please don't forget to put a thumbs up and support my channel i really appreciate it and i'll be waiting for you next week with my next video so see you guys bye